Good morning, and welcome to my newest series, New Engine November, where I'm going to be taking a look at a new different engine every week of the month of November to see if any of them can happen to take the throne of Unity and be my go-to engine. Oh, and I'm going to try and make a game of them in only three days. That's 72 hours. Well, enough chit chat, let's hop in. Right off the bat, let's start on a strong foot with Unreal Engine. Yes, that Unreal Engine with the stunning photorealistic results. Well, only one place to start. Hey, I'm ready to jump into Unreal, so let's do this. After waiting for another metric year, it finally booted up. Okay. I don't know how this works, but let's go for it. I looked around for a couple of minutes, and after a bit of poking, I slowly started to grasp how the engine and the editor were laid out. The first things I started to do was slightly start editing the base demo game. The base had a lot of really good system setup, like movement and a basic gun. These were super cool, and I would just be simply building on top of them for my final game. After I changed the gun to shoot how I wanted, I decided that I was ready to code up my first actual feature. But wait! First we gotta go over what type of game I'm making in the first place. So where I'm from, hunting season just finished up. Which means tons of people in orange and camo swarming the mountain. And that reminds me of something, shooting clay pigeons. It'd be fun to make a game about shooting clay pigeons. So let's start. I started out by trying to make a pigeon launcher. This would simply fling an object into the sky for you to shoot down with the base gun. Every once in a while, while coding, I would get on something seemingly easy for way too long, but eventually I stumbled my way through this engine enough to get something really nice. Next, I jumped into working on some of the UI for the game. This was surprisingly easy to do and went really quickly. Soon I had a score at the top of the screen, raising by every target you hit. After that, I did a health bar that would drop every pigeon you missed, and it was just going great. I spent way too long getting a way for you to restart the game when you lost, but soon enough, I had a finished game loop all polished out. So how about I get it looking good, and then we'll check it out. So this is how the game turned out. It's not the most riveting gameplay, but I thought it turned out really good. It's simplistic, but what else can you expect from a game made in three days? Welcome to the second half of this video, where I briefly explain how I feel about each engine I use. So let's get going with the Unreal Engine. Overall, I just had a ton of fun with this. Once I figured out the ropes, it was very intuitive. Coding with the blueprint blocks was really fun. This is basically just the same as coding normally, but it's way more reasonable and easy to learn for beginners while still having the functionality of a real programming language. I could safely recommend this engine to complete beginners and feel confident that they'd figure out something. I could for the most part figure out what functions were called without having to Google them. But I did notice that when I did have to Google something, it was somewhat harder to find what I was looking for. Another thing that I just have to mention is the performance. Unreal just ran horribly on my computer. I know I don't have the most powerful computer money can buy, but it was still very clear to me that it just wasn't optimized for Mac, which I know most of you don't care about and you won't be affected, but 
It really sucks for me and it's a huge turnoff for me using this engine in the future. Um, on a lighter note, the Unreal Marketplace was really fun to use. That's where I got all of the assets for this game, and it was really nice. It didn't have as much as the Unity Asset Store, but it still had a great selection of high quality assets. And last but not least, let's talk about the pricing, seeing that the whole reason for this series is Unity's pricing changes. Unreal is just a simple 5% royalty when you make more than $1 million with your game, which seems fair to me. This compares to a maximum of a 2.5% royalty over 200,000 from Unity. This means that both are free to a point, but with Unity you will have to start paying sooner, and Unreal is more expensive after they hit the 1 million mark. This seems completely fine to me, and I'd feel comfortable starting a game in Unreal without having to worry too much about monetization. I know I've compared Unreal a lot to Unity, but so far that's the only other engine I've had experience in. So, once we get on, I'll start comparing them all closer. Overall, this was a ton of fun. I had a ton of fun with Unreal, and I'm ready to start the next week with Construct 3. If any of you want to see that video, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. Um, and if you have any ideas for games, I'm more than willing to hear them. Hint, hint, I have no idea what I'm going to make for my next game. If you like this video, then like and subscribe. If you didn't, don't. Or whatever. I'm not your mom. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.